hello everyone my name is bindu welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to talk about one advanced interview question and that is query folding in power bi i am going to divide this topic into two videos in this video i am going to tell you what is query folding and how do you do this uh, in power bi and in the next video in the coming video i am going to tell you the real world scenarios where this query folding is used i am dividing this because i don't want to make this a long video so i'll uh, keep this short so now uh, let's get started and learn what query folding is what is query folding for some data sources uh, both relational and non relational databases when the mashup engine when the power bi engine is able to convert the m language into a language that the data source can understand that is query folding i know uh, this is difficult to understand let me make it simple so uh, when you're creating a report you connect to a data source right? you uh, connect to a data source you say uh, connect to a data source and connect to sql oracle mysql or any database and when you connect to it you uh, you write a sql query there let's say you wrote sql uh, let's say you wrote select star from so and so table and you put all the data into power bi okay and then you want to do transformations to your data so you go to advanced query editor then you try to remove columns you try to uh, filter columns you try to rename columns so all that part all the renaming removing columns and adding um, uh, filtering out the, uh, filtering out the data all these kind of things when you have all these kind of things uh, what this mashup engine will do is to improve the performance of the power query to improve the performance of the power bi report this mashup engine it translates this m language into a language that the data source can understand here in our case because it's sql server this mashup engine is going to convert the same language into SQL Server. That is query folding. So when mashup engine is converting the query to a language that the data source can understand, that is query folding. And now let's see how to do that in Power BI. I have this blank report here and now um, what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, get data and I connect to SQL Server. Okay. Here my SQL Server name and the database name is Bikes. I just say OK here. And now Power, uh, Power BI gives me uh, an option to select the tables which I want to use. So here I'm just selecting sales.customers. Um, so the table is added to this report. Now what we'll do is go to this data tab. And see and here you see a uh, number of columns and what I'm doing is I'm editing the query now I'm going to the power query editor and editing the query so this part what you see here is the M language right and now what I want to see is <coughs> and now what I want to um, do in this report is I want to change the name of this column i'm renaming this so this is the transformation i'm doing it in power uh, power query editor right so i'm renaming the column to first name and last name and last name as well i just want to take off the underscore i'm renaming it to last name and here um let's just say i don't want a phone column I, I i want to remove this column so i'm removing this column here okay so when you look at the uh, transformation steps here right you see the m uh, you see the m language here this query is being query folded how do you do that is on the last step whatever step you want um, just let's say um, let's say uh, we'll check it after the uh, renamed column step you right click on it and you say view native query okay 
and when you say view native query first name is being renamed to first name last name is renamed to last name okay and and that is how the uh, mashup engine has converted it to sql query so this is a sql query right so the mashup engine has converted this already to a sql query and when you go to last step after removing the phone column and now let's say and now let's say view native query now you don't see phone column here because the mashup uh, query has been the mashup engine has created the query after removing the phone column so this is how uh, a mashup engine converts um, the m language query to the data source query if it is sql server it converts to sql server this oracle converts to oracle based on the data source the, this mashup engine converts the m language to uh, whatever language the data source uses so it is this simple to do query folding in power bi you don't have to manually do anything uh, power bi takes care of it but you should know that but you should know what a query folding is and there are certain scenarios where um, power bi it won't do query folding and in the next video we are going to talk about them uh, those are some real world scenarios where power bi where this power bi engine won't do the query folding i hope you understand what query folding is and how it is done by uh, the mashup engine in power bi so that is it for today and in the next video we'll talk about the real world scenarios of this query folding till then keep learning